In this video, I want to demonstrate you how I knit my neckline. I usually take needles one size smaller, for example, if I knit on needles number four, so for the neckline I would use needles number three. I make a slip stitch and I always start with Italian cast on and cast on an even amount of stitches. Two, three, four, five, dive under, grab it, dive under, grab it. Then I twist it several times, making sure that the long tail is goes from the ball. As it usually gets very twisted, especially with thinner yarns, what I do, I knit one, purl one. I'm making sure there's enough of twisting and, whoop, and the stitch will not unravel. Purl one. I knitted the row. As you can see, we already got this nice edge. And only now I join in the round. It's so much easier. At this moment, there are two options you can do. You can either continue, knit one, purl one, and you will get this nice edge, or you can do knit, slip purl, knit slip purl, and another round, purl, slip the knitted stitch. If you do the second option, you will get a bit of a bump. It's not very visible, but if you are thinking you might need an elastic in your neckline, so that's a good option because it will give you space to put your elastic. In my case, well, I usually go this way, like 70%. I join and start knitting. The first three stitches I make really tight. You see, I knit and I pull and I hold with my fingers. Let's knit several rounds and then I will show you how to make the hem. When you are happy with the desired length or width, you knit two rounds in stockinette if you want a tiny hem and three rounds in stockinette if you want it to be a bit wider. I've already knitted this. Then put five or six markers for your safety. They will be your check-in points a bit later at the end of finishing the hem. This is what you get. Then turn your neckline inside out. Take half a size smaller needles. What you have to do, you have to pick the bumps of the first round of stocking it. So for example, I have to pick this, 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 this. How I check myself if I'm picking the right one, especially in the purled column. Okay, look, if this, these are the knitted stitches and the bump, the first bump after them is the bump you have to pick. So it means the bump in, on the same line, in the same line, is the bump in the pearls you have to pick. And here is the next bump. My first bump will be 
from this stitch. And I know that this is the bump next to it, so I have to pick this. Always pick the same. For example, I will be picking, grabbing like this. So look now. I would pick this bump, this bump, don't pick like this, it looks easier, but then your stitches will not be looking the same way, it will not be very nice. I have picked all the stitches in the inside and here is the right side. Then I take the yarn and I have to knit one row less than I knitted here. I knitted two rounds in stockinette. It means I will knit only one round in stockinette and my knitting will be done. Make sure you knit tight. I try to knit only with the tips of the needle. I don't go like this. See how big the stitch becomes. What I do, I just hold the needle tips as close as I can. Now we have to join these stitches with these stitches. Okay. Now I have to knit them together. I take the, my main yarn from the neckline and I double check. This is the purled line, so it means that stitch has to come from the knitted one. Can you see? It's the knitted and then here is the blue stitch. So if it's knitted here, it's purled here. It means I aligned correctly. And now I start knitting I grab this and this and knit two together. I grab this and this. Okay, when I come to the stitch marker, I it reminds me I have to check again. If if my stitches are lined up the right way. This is the knitted line, so it means this blue stitch has to come from the from the purl. Can you see it's here? And it comes. Mm-hmm. The purl. It means I didn't knit three stitches by mistake and they are all aligned nicely. So I continue knitting two together, checking myself when I come to a new stitch marker. Okay, let's see what we get. This is the hem what we get and from that side you can't practically see anything. You can make this hem wider but I find it more beautiful when it's very very narrow. This is what you get when you finish joining 
you get the nice edge and a little hem. I think this line gives the feeling that the garment has been made in a like knitting factory and it looks very professional. Secure the ends and hide each of them into that little hem or along the knitted stitches. And then you change your needles to one size bigger and start knitting your sweater. Thanks for watching. Bye.